As we complete the first month of our Cobalt recall, we thank our dealers for making this a painless experience for consumers. The purpose of this video is to reinforce the inspection process. To inspect, slide your cobalt inspection tool over the high pressure transducer housing. No gap means the cobalt passes. If there is any space between the tool and the cobalt, it is considered a fail. If there is any doubt, contact Atomic Aquatics. Sometimes there is a fine line between a passing cobalt and one that fails inspection. Make sure that each cobalt is recorded on the Atomic Aquatics Cobalt Inspection Worksheet. If the cobalt passes inspection, the final step is to remove and replace the top cover. Polishing the sharp edges off of a large flat bladed screwdriver will help avoid scratching the plastic parts. Insert a flat bladed screwdriver into the gap between the front cover and the main body. Insert again near the logo, lift the cover to release the second lock tab, and the front cover will pop off. Take your new replacement cover and slide it onto the locking tabs on one side, starting near the hose end. With the side of the top cover engaged, snap the other side over the tabs on the case to lock into place. Make sure there are no gaps between the front cover and the body of the cobalt. When looking down onto the top of the cobalt, it is easy to determine the difference between the old and the new front cover. The new cover indicates that the cobalt is either outside of the recall range or has previously passed inspection.